So right here, I had to add two little brads. I just used James's nail gun and just put two little brads in there. So that is good and secure. I've added these hangers. So now all of these go hanging on the wall. Okay, I'm about to put the nails in the wall in my room where I'm gonna be hanging this little shelf. But I'm gonna show you what I use. I've showed this on my channel, oh gosh, years ago, and I still use it. I seen it on a channel. I think it was Jessica Griffin showed this on her channel. So I went and bought me one from Hobby Lobby. It's this, the Hango Matic. Yeah, hang matic <sighs> This is a game changer. This is a game changer. So, I got mine from Hobby Lobby. I'm sure they have them on Amazon. But it's got these two little points here. And it's got a level. And I'm going to show you how you use it to put the mark the spots on your wall so you know where to hang your Put your nails. I know everybody does the tape thing nowadays, which is a great hack, but I'm still kind of concerned that I'll get that uneven. <laughs> so I just rely on this and I'll be honest with you. There's times that I put it on there and I get the level right and I'm like, this looks crooked, but it always turns out. <laughs> if I don't go by this, it will be crooked. So let me point the camera down and show you how I'm gonna do this. So what you do is you find your, you get your um, hangers, and then you're gonna line up each one of these little things. You line them up, then you're gonna lock it, okay? And this is where your nails need to be, or screws or whatever. And then I put my level in the center, and I go and I, you see these little points, those little points? You kind of stick them into the wall and that marks the spot where you put your nails or screws or however you're gonna hang your piece. So that's what I'm going to do and I'll show you that. So I'm gonna hang my little shelf or my drawer right here under this mirror. So I know about where I want it, but if I was to eyeball it, I would get it completely crooked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this that I've already got my spots and it's locked. I've got my level and I'm going to kind of center it the best I can and then I'm going my level and then I'm going to push and leave the marks. I'm having trouble seeing that mark. There it is, and there it is. Okay, I can see it. Then I'm gonna take my nails. Okay, got them in there. And then now, look at there. I know y'all can't tell, but it is level and straight. And I put just some nails in there because I'm not going to put anything heavy in it. If I was going to put something heavy, I would put anchors and stuff like that. So now let me decorate it. <laughs> I have an idea of what I want to put in it. I have a bunch of these little, um, these cute little trays or uh, dishes, trinket things. Look, I thrifted that $5.99 a couple years ago. I also have this one, this little box, which was also thrifted. I think it came in a bag. And then I have this one that is also thrifted. And I've just put some jewelry in it, just kind of hanging out. So I have those three. I also have this cute little frame I could sit on top. Um, I have this cute little heart frame of me and James that I could put in there. Um, and I have this, these, these were in my booth, but I didn't sell just some costume jewelry, vintage jewelry that I could put in there. And then that will kind of like 
clear up some of this where I can kind of move some of this. Um, yeah. Okay. So now I gotta go. I gotta go get some doilies. Y'all know I gotta have my doilies. So let me go get my doilies, and we're gonna get this decorated. I might look for. I need to look at my stash. Okay. I got. I found this. I had this. Um, I got it. I have this little mirror that I found, and I brought in, I have this doily. I have this white one. I'm not too keen about putting white, but I could always, like, tea stain it if I need to. Um, I have this one. Um, I have this one that has a hole in it, which I can disguise that. I like to fold it and kind of, like, oh, there's a hole there, too. Well, whoa, this one's just all holy in it. Okay, I'll do it like this. Um, and then I have this one. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this just yet. Um, so let me get over here and just kind of play with it. Uh, I do have these keys that I could put a pretty, I have this key that I could put a pretty ribbon on. Um, I just kind of had it in a little trinket box. These are the keys I got from Allie from Rusty Ridge Vintage. It's got this little loop here. I could put a pretty little, that would be pretty. I could put them on a little string. Kind of have them, I don't know. We'll see. Let me just get over here and play with it. First, let me put this up. Let me play over here and see how it turns out. I'm going to try to set y'all up here. I know it's kind of dark, but, I mean, y'all can kind of see what I'm doing. Because I, I have no plan, no game plan. All I know is I wanted to use those little trinket boxes. Um, let's see. Do something like that. I thought about standing this up in the back. It's a reflective quality. Judge me yet. I've got this this drawer pull that I was thinking about. I wonder if I could take this velvet ribbon off of this. I could use this velvet ribbon. Let me see about tying the velvet ribbon on this and see how it, it does. Because I have this little hole in this drawer pull that I could... Is it a hole? Maybe I could just loop it around it and just kind of hang it off of it. Let me see. Now it's dark in that corner over there, but I have this pretty velvet, this green velvet ribbon. Let's see about it working on these keys. And it already looks pretty, don't it? It's kind of pretty. Just hang it on here. See where I have this little 
and right here. I wonder if it would just hang there. You know what I could do? I've got some mounting patches coming up, like double-sided tape stuff. I could put a little bit under this and just kind of secure it to that. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Um, let me take the camera down and kind of show y'all. I think it might need some greenery. Do I have any greenery? You know how sometimes you'll have little pieces fall off and I just kind of shove them different places. I'm robbing so much, pull some off. <laughs> Surely I'm not the only one that does that. Let me see. I need to get a little candle. I have a candle that would fit in that. I love that. Okay, I'm not digging this. I'm not liking this. So, I've got the little mirror, the little jewelry boxes, the keys hanging there, little candle holder, a picture of James and I. I need to take that glass out. I need to take glass out of that. Let me take this glass out. Well, I don't take it out. I just kind of put it behind the picture, and that way if I ever want it, it's there. So, let me do that real quick. Much better with the glass behind the picture. Now, you don't have that glare on it. Um, I will need... I think I need to put, bring this one forward, put this behind it, and then I need a little something here, but I don't know what. Hmm. Let me think. But I love those keys. I love that. And then I need to get me a small wreath for that. Let me go get one and see what it would look like. Okay, this is what the wreath I kind of did it lower so you could still see the pretty of the top. Sorry, yard guys out there. And I just added this pumpkin. I put this little pine cone right here. I added another brass candlestick. Um, that's what it's looking like right now. So, I'll tweak it and play with it. So where are we headed, James? To the pool house. <laughs> We're going to pick up my hutch. I'm so excited. James is not excited, but he's a good sport. He's like, whatever. Gonna make his wife happy, huh, James? That's impossible. James! Seriously? What? So, y'all, my hutch, when they sold it to me, they said, this doesn't go together. This is just how she had it sitting in her house, but it's two different pieces. Well, I Google lensed it and it does go together. It is a hutch. I think they were just caught off by the colors because the bottom is a different color than the top, which y'all know we love all that kind of stuff. But 
it does go together. It is a hutch and I'm so excited. James is excited too. That's his happy, excited face. Look, James, show him. Are you smiling, James? I'm smiling. <laughs> we got our sidekick, but we're ready to get the hutch, yay! <laughs> Smile, James. I am. Laugh, James. Okay, we got the hutch home, and it was a little bit rougher than what I thought, but that's okay, we've been working on it. Um, we're gonna have to replace the top because it was just damaged. Um, and I took the screen and the glass out of the doors. Here's the door. This is the one that had the glass in it. And, um, the other one's around. Oh, there's the other one right here. Here's the other one. And our neighbor works at a glass company, so we're going to see if he can get me two pieces of glass cut um, to fit in the doors. I like the screen, but I think the doors would look good, too. So, Oh, I did buy this, y'all. This cute little... I did get it. It was still there. Um, I'm going to clean it up, and I'm thinking about making a flower pot out of it for the house. Um, we'll see. I don't know yet, but I'm thinking about painting the bottom part of the hutch black, leaving the top like it is, but I may paint inside of it because it just looks nasty and I've cleaned it already. So we'll see. But I think we got the wood. James is going to cut and put the top on. <sighs> It was filthy. I think it was outside. But it's going to be beautiful, and I'm going to leave the top the way it is. I don't want to refinish it, but I'm seriously thinking about painting the bottom. James is probably going to make me two doors for the bottom. Or one door. Just the one door. Where that hole is. Um, and then we'll just kind of patch the middle piece where the other part of the hole was. Right? And he's shaking his head, yes. He's eating. Um, but I can't wait to decorate it. I have some ideas for the bottom part of it where the doors are. Um, but it was really, really nasty. Really nasty. Okay, we've got the drawer out there. We fixed it a little bit, so it's drying. We've took, I kind of like it without, <laughs> but I did have this. So I added this light. So that's gonna be cool because I'm gonna lose my lamp. Um, so that's gonna be cool. Give me some light. Y'all, I love it. I know it is in rough shape, but I mean, as old as it is, it shouldn't be in pristine condition, you know what I'm saying? Or that's my take on it anyway. Um, but this is why I'm thinking I may paint it because it's just the front, but I may paint this bottom base black. I don't know, but I love it. So now I'm going to move all of this, get this cabinet out of the way, take all of that down and start playing. Okay. Phase one of the hutch is done. There's something I'm gonna do to it tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and show you so you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, I love it. It's perfect. Um, and there's some changes I'll be making tomorrow, but I've gotta get what I need. And I'll explain that when I flip the camera around. So let me turn the camera around. So here is the hutch. Did y'all see that dark shelf in the middle? Mm -hmm. I've got a solution for that, but it's going to be tomorrow before I can do it. I have, I'll show you real quick. I have another one of these little lights 
that I'm going to put in that middle shelf to give it some light and it's gonna be perfect. So back to the hutch. Y'all, I love this hutch so much. I do. Now the light bulb on top, it's too, ooh, yeah. So I've gotta get a different bulb tomorrow. I'm probably gonna get something kind of like an Edison bulb. Um, I would love to use these bulbs I have here, but they're the chandelier tip base and that's a regular light bulb base. So I do have to get a different bulb. I just don't have one tonight. Um, but this is how I've got everything looking and I'll take you for a closer look inside. I have never decorated a hutch for myself or hutch period, honestly. So this was my first time. So y'all be, y'all be nice. I'm sure I'll be tweaking it. Um, so, and we're going to get the glass for them too. Um, I, I've decided I do want to get the glass. So they'll just be the clear glass. It won't be, um, with the design on it, but this shelf, I've got my cake plate, my grandma that's praying, my turkey, my mom made and my little light Southern grace. I love that with that picture and some books. And on this shelf, I have some books. I had to have a chicken. Um, my pictures, my plates, a platter. Um, that's a frame I recently thrifted in a picture I just printed out. Um, some books and some copper pieces. But I am going to be putting my little um, light in there. So that'll light that shelf up. And then up here, this shelf is really, uh, I'm, I don't know. But... This is how I've got it for now. That's all my thrifted dishes, and then these pieces. And then um, I'm gonna probably get some doilies and kind of have them hanging out the drawer. I don't know yet. And then I have some decor that I was not able to use that I've put down there. I've gotta get some knobs. These are the original knobs. So I'm probably gonna get something very similar to that. Maybe I can find some, some at Hobby Lobby. And I'm thinking about, I might get James to make me a new door just on this side. And then we'll kind of patch up that hole. Let me zoom in so you can see. See that hole? I don't know yet. It, I might leave it the way it is because it kind of adds to character. We'll see. But this is my hutch. And outside, I was thinking I might paint the inside of it. But I really love how just old it is. This is a light we had. We already had it, so I just put it in there. Um, and I'm just, I'm loving. I'm loving its imperfections. And once I get that little light put in there, I'll show you what it looks like and when I change the bulb up there. But yeah, I'm real happy with it. Uh, I did have this basket this is the basket my mom gave me. The wreath that I had hanging up there, I just put it in there. And then those are some of the pumpkins I had from my booth that I took out. And then I swapped places with the little chair. And I'm just, I'm loving it. So, that's what it looks like. Now, I will show y'all tomorrow when I make the changes um, with the lights. I love it. I absolutely love it. So thank y'all for hanging out with me. Um, and I will see you in the next one, but I will add at the end of this video, the changes I made. Okay, as promised, there is the other little light. I did add um, this and I like that little cast iron stove. Um, change the bulb out of there. Let me turn these lights off in here so you can see. So much better. It's more of a glow instead of glaring. That's it.